Okay, so today we're going to do some bench testing of the VPN router from Liberty Shield on two different ISPs. Uh, here at the office we have both Virgin Media and Vodafone Broadband. So we're going to show you some speed tests of both them without the VPN and obviously with the VPN router and we'll show you, uh, we'll show you what happens there. So, just to show you, I'm going to go to an IP address of iplocation.net, that's the website that I'm on. And if I just refresh that, that will show you that we're on Virgin Media just now. Okay. And over here, I'm just going to do a quick speed test. So this is nothing to do with the VPN router. This is purely my Virgin home broadband speed straight from Virgin. So 160 meg. Okay. The next part of the test is to disconnect from Virgin Media and connect to the VPN router. Okay, so we'll just allow the uh, computer a moment to connect to the VPN router. Obviously, we're doing this wired using Ethernet cable rather than uh, wireless. Okay, so now I'm going to refresh iplocation.net, and this should replace with our ISP, who's Electronic Communities. They're the provider of the VPN telecoms. And now we'll do a speed test and see how much drop we get from the 160 men. Now, keeping in mind that we always say that these VPN routers are capable of speeds of between 30 and 40 megabytes. Okay, so that one's coming at 30, which is what... We kind of say is one of the maximum speeds. I'll just do another one so we've got a comparison. Okay, so it just crept over. Now, depending on the time of day or the traffic level, that can get up to 40 equally. It could go down to 20. It just depends. Now, keep in mind at this point that using Netflix's recommendations, to run a standard definition video stream, you need about two megabytes of speed for that stream. And for an HD video stream, you need about five megabytes. Now, different services will vary on those recommendations, but those are the ones on, uh, on netflix.com, so it's worth sharing. So now that we've done a test there, we've seen that Virgin Media is effectively throttling the speed down from 160 megabyte to around 30 megabytes. So you're getting under a quarter of your speed, but still more than enough to uh, run even multiple HD video streams. Okay, so this is a bench test to show a Vodafone modem connected to the Liberty Shield VPN router. So if we go and have a look there, we can see using iplocation.net, just refresh it, that currently we're connected directly to Vodafone. And now I'll come over here and do a speed test. So from Vodafone at source, we're getting 34 megabyte of speed from them as an ISP. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect from Vodafone and connect the computer to the Liberty Shield VPN router. So we'll give it a moment. Again, this is using the wired connection rather than the wireless. Okay, now I'm gonna refresh the screen. And Vodafone is again replaced by Electronic Communities, who is the ISP. And now we'll do another speed test. And we can see that from Vodafone, they're giving us 27 megabytes of speed. Do another test. And on this occasion, Vodafone are given us 30 megabytes of speed. So the interesting thing to note there is that with Vodafone, if you're going by Netflix's recommendation of being able to, to run an HD stream at 5 meg, 
you could in theory run six five megabyte streams uh, through Vodafone in HD video. Okay, so the conclusions with this bench testing using two ISPs in both Virgin Media and Vodafone is that the VPN router is effectively giving the same speed, around 30 meg, to all your devices. The difference, though, is the drop from Virgin Media. Obviously, Virgin Media, in some ways, throttling VPN to make sure that you're only getting a speed of around 30 megabytes, whereas Vodafone, no throttle really at all, going from around 34 megabyte as standard down to 30 meg. And in both instances, you, you'd be able to run multiple HD video streams on all your devices uh, connected to the VPN router.